God made us differently than he made everything else, right? He didn't speak us into being. He actually used his hands. That's why Psalm 139 is real and literal. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. He has shaped us and formed us in his image. But he didn't just reach down to the dirt and shape us into an image or even his image. We became the image of God when he breathed his breath into us. We became the image of God when he gave us his life and his spirit. That's what made us in his image. It's not that he has two arms and two legs and two ears. None of that is God's image. God's image is that I breathe his breath, and when I stop breathing, it's because he stopped breathing it into me. That's what made us the image of God. He did not breathe into anything other than us. He made us different. He made us carefully. He made us in a way that was good for us even though it was costly to him. And what was costly about it? Because he didn't lose any of himself. What was costly was this. He knew we would mar his image. He knew that we would choose our own way, that we would invite death into that which was created only for life. And still, he chose us. He chose to give us himself. He chose for us from the very beginning that he would give his goodness to us. Even though he knew that we would cast it aside. Even though he knew this, we would even question its goodness. Because isn't that exactly what Eve did? She allowed Satan's questions to become her own questions? That she found goodness in something that God said was not good at all? And then questioned his goodness and what he had given? That that's what this comes down to. It is when you and I have the goodness of God and we question whether it's good. And when you and I try to find and ascribe goodness to things that God said isn't good at all. We turn his character upside down and we reveal just how costly it was for him to make us in his image. God chose to do what was costly for him because it would be good for us. I personally believe that if we went through the scriptures and we looked at most of the things that we call really difficult, most of the things that God did that we don't understand or that we don't really like, if we look at them honestly, we begin to find out that they were all for us. 